This video is the second of two videos on the Dalmatic pattern in inches. This one will be on the front of the Dalmatic. You see that the top and the part where the hands would be, the arms would be, are the same length. So we're going to do the same, except when we get to here in the middle, then we're going to see that we'll have to go line by line in order to get that right um, curve, okay? So we will still need on this one a piece of fabric 45 inches long by 52 inches across, which you will fold in half in that fold line will be the middle. I've chosen a white piece of fabric so I can write on it. I mean, after you're done, you probably want to change your uh, pattern to something you can see through, especially when you go to put, um, you know, the fabric together so you can see the straight of the grain of the fabric through your pattern. But for now, we're going to use um, this white one, okay? So we're going to get our T-square and we're going to put it along the fold line. And we're going to make a line across the top. If the T-square is not long enough, you have to use an extended ruler. And you're going to draw that top line 24 and a half inches. Okay. Draw it from here all the way to the end. Then you're going to take your T-square, move it to the top. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then you're going to draw a line from the corner here down 10 and a half inches. And you're going to turn it this way. Make sure it's on that line, okay? And then draw a line 16 inches. Would be a good idea to check to make sure that over here is ten and a half inches just as it is over here ten and a half okay okay now we are going to make a we're going to take this put it along the fold line make sure it's nice and straight You take a tape, me tape measure, go to that top line that you made over here, take the tape measure, go all the way down, or you can use the ruler if you want. Make sure the T square is along the fold line. Take the ruler, I have to add four and a half inches because I want this line at the bottom to be 40 and a half inches down. Draw a line, 12 and a half inches across. In order to uh, make the curve on this easier, it's a little more work, but it's gonna be well worth it, worth it, okay? I want you, if you do not have a quilting ruler, I want you to buy a quilting ruler because it's two inches. And that's how I've divided these lines for you. So you're going to start at the bottom. You're going to draw a line at 12 and a half inches over here. You can't see my lines, but right there. 12 and a half. Draw a line across, two inches. Now you're going to go up here, and I want you to go four inches up, which is this twice, right? Four inches, four inches over here, make sure it's four inches, draw a line across, 
This one was my wrong line. <laughs> well, we all make mistakes, right? Then I go up. 12 and a half inches should be here. We're going to go up six inches, right? Four from here, six from here. We'll go down here, mark, mark this. Two inches. This one. Four inches. Maybe drop the pen so you can see. Six inches. Go up again. Eight inches. Remember to keep using this ruler to mark the eight inches. Don't depend on this bottom line. Sometimes it's a little off. So check it with the ruler, okay? Eight inches. Ten inches here. We need this 11 inch line because that's where it curves the most drastically, okay? So I want you to draw this one here. This is 12 and a quarter. This line is 12 and a quarter inches long. Oh, well, you know what? Let me do that after. Do two more. Do it from the 10 to the 12. 14, 16, 18. You're going to go all the way up to 28 inches up. You can check it with a yardstick. Okay. This last one will only be one and three quarters. That's just how it worked out. Now I'm going to tell you the distance of all the lines. Okay. And then I'll go over it at the end. You're going to measure from the bottom where the 12 inch line is. This 12 inch line here will be 12 inches. Okay? This 10 inch line will be 12 and a half. The 11 inch line at the 11 inch mark will be 12 and a quarter. So the 14 inch line will be 11 and 3 quarters, 16 inch line, 11 and a quarter, 18 inch line, 10 and a half, the 20 inch line will be 10. 22 inch line, nine and three quarters. The 24 inch line, nine and a quarter. 26 inch line, eight and three quarters. The 28 inch line, eight and a half. 29 and three quarters, right? Because <laughs> I, well, we just have a quarter left over. <laughs> so that, I want you to put a dot here. Okay, where that is. Because what's going to happen here, I'm going to put a dot at the end here. Then we're going to go back an inch and put another dot there. Come an inch down. And you have to do an angle. That's for the corner underneath the arm. It's too hard when you're making this to make this line square. It's too hard to get the, the fabric to lay the way you want. So if you do a little bit of curvature here at the top, it'll be easier to sew when we're, all, when we're doing putting it together. So you're going to take all your dots at the end of the line, and you're going to connect them. You see how it curves. If you've watched my other video, you see where I've had you do a pattern. I always have you put a dot at the end. And that is the Dalmatic. That's the front. So, we can go over the measurements for you. Okay. So, this is the back of the Dalmatic, this is the bottom. The bottom here is 12 and a half inches. 
when you come up 10 inches, it's still 12 and a half inches. When you come up 11 inches from the bottom, it's 12 and a quarter. 12 inches from the bottom, it's <clears throat> 12 inches across. 14 inches up, it's 11 and 3 quarters. 16 inches up, it's 11 and a quarter. 18 inches up, it's 10 and a half. 20 inches up, it's 10. 22 in inches up, it's 9 and 3 quarters across. 24 inches up, it's 9 and a quarter. 26 inches up, it's 8 and 3 quarters. 28 inches up, it's 8 and a half. And then this um, at 29 and 3 quarters, it's 8 and 3 quarters across, but it's 9 and 3 quarters to that dot where you have to do the turn. I think, um, I think that's it. Good luck, good drawing, good cutting. I hope this made it easy for you. I'm going to show you what my pattern looks like. What I do. I made it out of paper. Let's see, there's the arm. There's the curve. Coming down, and here it is. So when you open it up, I don't know if the camera will catch it. I'll try to move the camera so you can see what my pattern looks like. So it comes across here. And here's the other sleeve uh, over there. And underneath the arms, coming down to the bottom. And later on, I will do a video on the Dalmatic in centimeters. Good luck, good cutting.